Okay, so if you've come here for a master class in recording and playing and mixing drums and bass, then you have come to the wrong place. I know very little about this, but um, I will show you what I have put in this song. Now, this is all something that uh, Nicole and I, we've done here um, in my little project studio. So there's no real drums. There is a real bass, though. Um, as you can see, I have edited a bit of the bass in the in the verses um and then i've left the chorus bass i've left that uh, as it was played um so i haven't edited it very much either um but this is what it is okay so let's start with uh the intro now here i have um three kick drums um, that I have from a sample library that I've obtained from someone. I'm not going to say who. Anyway, um, this is some Andy Wallace snares and some Prince kicks and stuff like that. Anyway, um, the first one is... And then we have... Okay, now the noise on them, I it doesn't sound very good in isolation, but, you know, it... It works when everything's playing. I don't mind it. It's it's a demo, you know. And that's the third one. And now here we have the bass. And that also goes into a room, just like we did with the guitars. It's the same room. So without it. Hit with it. It just adds some space to it, uh, which we all like. So... All together, they sound like this. Right, now all of this goes out to a drum bus and a bass bus, and we've got the BX console on them. Bit of compression, bit of EQ. And then we go to the chorus, which is, uh, I've moved away from it being mostly uh, like samples that I've placed in, and I've moved over to the Stephen Slate drum sampler. Um, I don't remember which uh, preset in here I used, but I think it might be the Led Zeppelin one, maybe. Um, old Led Zeppelin, maybe. Yeah, something like that. Um, I haven't done that much to it in here regards to mixing. The only thing I have done is sent it out um, to the multiple outs that you can choose within the program and then created some aux tracks here where they go out to. So you can see them coming out here. <laughs> right, so... It's quite compressed, and there are some extra snares that I've put on in here. You can see them down here. And then there's some uh, extra toms as well. Here I've actually I've actually muted the snare uh, from the Stephen Slate part, and I've um, what I've done is I bounced it out, and then I put on here and I put some saturation on it just to give it a little bit more. It wasn't quite enough, so I I kind of put you know a bit more um, oomph to it and put the kicks in underneath as well. So we get the same thing as we had in the first verse for some continuity. That marks the change here. Um, I'm not too happy with some of these fills, but again, 
for demo purposes this will do for now if we do actually get in to record this properly one day um i've no doubt there's some s parts that'll be rewritten and there'll be some fills that are rewritten and some parts that are rewritten so um this is basically just to get the idea across um what i usually do is i will find uh some grooves that i have in here and i will find the one that is closest to the to the to the feel that i want for the song and then i'll edit it from there um i don't have time to sit and manually write out all these midi files for the drum beats so um that's how i sort of get around it um i know you can create your own uh, beats and actually sit and you know mess around with each single note and you can get some absolutely stunning results um, which is great I just feel that for my purposes of making a demo of a song like this um, I take something that sounds you know decent respectable and then I use that and well there you go I might add some samples in and uh, well Robert's your father's brother So, as you can hear, it's quite a fuzzy bass sound. Um, let's listen to that. Right, quite a bit of room on it. Um, it seemed to be working really well with the guitars. So, that's the kind of uh, tone that I went for. Again, these aren't edited, um, except for when we go back to this bit again. towards the end um, as you can see I kind of gave it a little bit more I think that must be a low C sharp or something like that it must be a D tune bass um, so that's about it for the for the bass and drums I just wanted you to be able to hear that in in isolation and I think I think in a couple of days I will put up the the final mix of um, of how everything sounds together. Now, don't get too excited about it. I'm not a a mix engineer. Um, I'm not very good at mixing, so it is what it is. But I think it's good enough for being a demo and getting our point across. Um, so look forward to that. I know I am. And I will see you in the next video. Just, you know, subscribe, like, comment, all that. Oh.